The Jewish Agency has opened a special hotline for new immigrants. As well, the agency and its international partners have helped to renovate and refurbish security rooms and shelters throughout the south of the country. With us by phone is Agency Chairman Zev Bielski. Mr. Bielski, good evening. Good evening. What happens to the newcomers to Israel when a conflict such as this breaks out in the area where they live? Well, it's, it's quite a shock. Uh, we've got uh, 1,200 uh, newcomers that are in five absorption centers in uh, next to the road, in uh, Ashkelon, in Ashdod, and uh, a lot of these people, it's the first time that uh, they face a situation like this. So, first of all, we have to deal with them, with the children, uh, to calm them down, to explain to them what happened. And uh, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of work uh, because it's uh, very, very traumatic, especially for people that are not aware, haven't seen anything like this in their lives, and uh, especially when uh, there were casualties, and uh, uh, not only heard about it, and it's like brings uh, very, very fast uh, into the mind, so people can get killed. Uh, and the first day they were in, in the shelters, but uh, in the next couple of days it will be very difficult uh, to maintain the situation in the children all the time in sheltered uh, places. So we think of about uh, moving uh, some of the children um, to the center of the country. And uh, we did it before in, in the war in the north. And um, if it's needed, we'll do it uh, again this time. We'll give the phone number for the special hotline in a moment. But Mr. Bialski, uh, it's Hanukkah vacation, and there are a lot of youngsters here from abroad on Birthright and other programs. Is the Jewish Agency receiving many phone calls from concerned families and parents? Well, yes, we, we've got uh, phone calls from people that are worried, but uh, so far uh, no cancellations and people are not uh, going back. Uh, they carry on with the mission. Uh, we'll see tomorrow probably um, these areas uh, will try to minimize the arrivals of uh, people on Jewish Agency programs into these areas, but uh, everything uh, will be carried as usual, and uh, we hope that uh, there will be no cancellations for future programs. This is the most important thing for us, to, to bring the young generation into Israel on various programs, um, and I hope it will carry on. Now let's get back to the special hotline that has been open for new immigrants. What, uh, what services, what is the objective of this hotline? You see, a lot of uh, people worldwide uh, are worried. Uh, their friends, their relatives, their families, they uh, came on Aliyah, they live in Ashdod, they live in, in Ashkelon, they live in Ashdod, all other places. So sometimes, you know, they can't get them on the phone. Uh, these people are in the shelters, you know, so they don't answer the phone. Um, so that's why we open uh, this number that 24 hours a day, any language, people can phone, give us a message immediately. We these people uh, take contact. Uh, in our adoption centers, we open um, all the phones uh, for people to call overseas. Uh, we've got students in the beach, uh, in the Jewish agency, they uh, use the road, and uh, we, we not only open the lines for them for overseas, but we encourage them and we see them each one the phone every few hours. Okay, Mr. Bielski, let me, let me just stop you there and give the phone number. It's 02-6202-202. That's 02-6202-202. And just one last question, because you are also running on the Kadima list in the new elections uh, coming up in February. Is it true that all the parties have suspended campaigning because of this operation? Yes, it's true. And uh, um, Minister Sipi Livni immediately instructed uh, all Kadima parties to stop uh, uh, any political activities, and I know all parties uh, did the same. It's not the right time for, for, for political. We have to be united, all of us, and uh, hope that uh, this operation that we started bring an end to this violence for, for, for the Hezbollah, from the, from the Hamas. So there's no time for politics now. Let's put it aside, finish with this, and then we'll come back to politics. Jewish Agency Chairman Zephyowski, as always, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. And the weather outlook for Israel.